What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about a movie I got to check out just a little bit early that's hitting the horror streaming service Shudder later this week and that movie is called Bad Things. Written and directed by Stuart Thorndike, this film stars people like Gail Rankin, Hari Neff, Annabelle Dexter Jones, and Rad Pereira. So before we get too far into this, as I usually like to do, I want to say a big thanks to those kind folks over at Shudder for sending me over yet another early screener for one of their movies. And today we're talking about a movie called Bad Things that hits the service later this week. Now if you're watching this review after the fact and the re movie on Shudder is what brought you to this review, well welcome here to the channel. I'd like you to hit that subscribe button and start commenting your thoughts down below on what you thought on the movie and maybe you know hit that subscribe button so you can stick around and see way more content here on the channel for a lot of early movie reviews like this one and if you're a returning viewer well welcome back thanks so much for uh, sticking around and watching another video here on the channel bad things is a film that i went to into with zero knowledge i had only seen the poster and i had seen that some of my peers who got to check out the movie a little early also weren't huge fans of it and after having seen the film myself with no prior knowledge outside of the poster Unfortunately, I was not a fan of this movie, with this easily probably being, just without a doubt, within my top three worst films of 2023, if not taking the, 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 the top spot as my least favorite. I would have to really go through everything I've seen this year and try to narrow it down, but I think I can confidently say that this is easily within my top three worst films I've seen of 2023. Bad Things focuses on a group of young women who all decide to go to a hotel to get some time away. And what makes this very specific is that the main character, played by Gail Rankin, uh, the character of Ruth, um, her family owns this hotel. And so they have free reign of this hotel. They go in there and they just are kind of doing whatever they want to do. They were using the pool. They're just freely roaming a hotel, which is a really cool premise, right? The idea of being able to have our own hotel that's owned by our family. Maybe it's out of season. Maybe it's no longer in use, but you literally have full reign of this hotel to do everything and anything you want to, especially if you're doing kind of a, a girl's trip kind of thing, like in this film, or just like a, a group of friends getting together in general to go to this hotel. Now, one thing that's completely evident with this film, without a doubt, is that it was heavily inspired by The Shining. However, unfortunately, I think that this film takes all of the wrong lessons on the filmmaking side of things when it comes to The Shining as this is just a weak film all around. Outside of that base premise that I just told you guys, there are a couple other things that are going on here. There's a couple other characters that are in the mix, but these four women that we're focusing on that are in this hotel are pretty much the entire movie. And as things start to unfold, we start to learn a little bit more about our main character, Ruth's past, her family, this hotel, in very small details. And as it is a horror film, horror film, uh, yeah, there are some things that start to get a little bit creepy if you will this movie for me didn't work on almost any level you could say it's a competently well shot film with a decent musical score throughout the course of the film that gives it a unique tone but outside of that this is a fairly run-of-the-mill just dull boring film that for me felt like it was trying to be artistic something that's going for clever but oftentimes just came off as pretentious or dull really or just flat out uninspired i didn't really find myself connected to the characters i didn't find myself connected to the performances and while there are some elements of filmmaking tactics here that aren't terrible the overall movie and the narrative the characters or anything that would get you to be latched on and recommend this to somebody or watch it again is just completely not here this is a movie that for me more often than not just felt aimless and that's one of the worst things a movie can be for me i like weird artistic horror films something that maybe you don't really know if you like it at first but by the time you get to the end of the film things are kind of flipped on their head or things kind of change or ramp up to where you know it feels like a nice slow burn but then it can kind of lead to an ending that gives you a different perspective on the film as it goes on and in the case of bad things i feel like they were trying to do that but everything about the film is broadcasted 
throughout the entirety of the film. And what I mean by that is you know where this movie's going from the very first like 10 minutes of the movie. It's so obvious as things start to unfold what they're trying to do. And if you're somebody who's read a lot of books, watched a lot of movies, played a lot of video games, or just dived into the world of storytelling to any degree for many years, there's nothing about this film that is going to really surprise you. There are so many things that just really just give away where the film is going consistently. And so because of that, it was consistently predictable. Oftentimes it felt wildly aimless where it just doesn't really feel like much is happening and nothing is really setting something else up. The character growth and development is flat out non-existent. There wasn't really much on a character arc level in this film. When it comes to the horror side of things, there was nothing about it that was necessarily creepy or scary or even off-putting and when it comes to even things like practical effects or anything like that it's all incredibly minimal this was obviously made on a lower budget so I can respect that side of it as there are tons of great low budget horror films on Shudder but when it comes to this film, unfortunately, there was really nothing about this film that gripped me. The characters were insufferable. The story was aimless, dull, and boring. The pacing had me just completely craving for this movie to be over. This hour and a half movie felt like I was watching a 600 million year long movie. And I know I'm sounding dramatic, but just genuinely, you know when you watch a movie that's just so boring and dull and feels so uninspired that you just can't help but feel like you just wasted chunks of your time. I don't often feel this way or talk this way about movies, even ones that I'm not a fan of, but when it comes to bad things, this is easily, without a doubt, some of the most wasted time I've had this year when it comes to movies, and I cannot recommend this movie to anybody, nor do I ever think I'll ever revisit it ever again. So yeah, guys, sorry that this isn't as in-depth of a review as I usually like to do here on the channel, but to be completely and utterly honest, there wasn't really much depth in this movie. Outside of some things you can take from this movie in terms of child negligence when somebody's being raised and how that can affect their brain as the years go on, there really isn't much to this movie. I think it's a film that tries to be far more clever than it actually is and ultimately left me wildly bored and I'm already forgetting it even though I just watched the movie less than two hours ago. Bad Things is a film I think you should totally, totally, totally avoid on Shudder. But if you did see the movie and that's what brought you here because you just had to know what somebody else thought of it, please leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of the film. And if you're a fan of this movie, if you're on the opposite side, because film is subjective. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm going through terrible allergies right now. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought about the film if you guys did enjoy the film. But whatever the case may be, leave any and all comments down below. And I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Bye-bye.